So why are we interested in segmentation? Okay, what do we mean by segmentation? Well, by segmentation, obviously, we're going to segment the image into a variety of regions. And the regions that you want to create depend a little bit on what you're actually trying to do. So there is this general intuition, and here we point to this work uh, by the folks out at Berkeley and Jatender Malik and his group, they really pushed hard on this. There's this general view that if I show you a picture, like this picture here on the left here, which has these uh, bison, that's what we call them in the States, or buffaloes, and we still have them wandering around, not in Atlanta, but in general. The idea is that um, I should be able to, you know, if I handed that picture off to, a, to anybody and I said, draw a border around the different objects, you would get something that looks kind of like that. All right? People would uh, segment, and, and the, the segmentations wouldn't all agree, right? Some people might separate out this little guy here uh, from the grass, but you can see that this one doesn't. But in general, there'd be a good agreement on uh, where the different uh, elements are. And this uh, database that's pointed to, they recorded a whole bunch of segmentations done by people, and that can be used to train uh, systems. Here's just another example taken from a typical American scene here. In fact, it even says that it's in Idaho. Um, and you can see that uh, the, the regions that were cut out uh, seem to correspond intuitively what you might think of as the different objects, or something more along the lines of different parts. Another reason you might want to do this is you've got some objects that are sort of the ones you want to pay attention to uh, against the background, and you want to focus on the object and not the background. So here are some examples referred to as figure ground segmentation, which is the pulling out of the, the figure from the background. And these typically are done in things that are moving around. Here we get some animals playing. Here's a strange creature referred to as a young child. Um, and the idea is that you'd like to be able to pull those objects out. So if you want to analyze, like we were doing activity recognition, you want to describe just the movement of the object. Another way of thinking about segmentation, again, some work that was introduced by uh, Malik's group, is this notion of super pixels. So these two pictures that you're looking at here, you can see that everything is sort of cut up into these little fragments. And the idea of these fragments, especially take a look along around here, right, is that within those fragments, Everything is sort of the same, and it's within the same region. And what that means is, when I think about further cutting up this picture or processing it, I don't have to think beyond these little regions, which are referred to as, well, later in the literature, as super pixels. Right? The idea is that I go from having tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of pixels to maybe having hundreds of super pixels. So that makes the combinatorics uh, much uh, easier. And again, getting these super pixels is a form of segmentation. Uh, segmentation extends beyond just uh, single images. Uh, of course, uh, here we're taking a look at video. Uh, this is actually some work that comes from here at Georgia Tech. Uh, done by uh, both uh, Professor uh, Irfan Issa and Jim Ray's and Professor Jim Ray's uh, group here, and there is this ice skater going along, and the ice skater is being segmented, um, and it's not always so easy because here it's showing you against uh, just ice, but obviously it pulls it out, and you want to be able to extract it uh, carefully.